Now from the Soto District of downtown Seattle, we've got baseball under the lights here at T-Mobile Park. Tonight, it's an in-division matchup from the AL West between the Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners. Stan Musial, one of the league's best hitters, looks to gain ground in the chase for an AL batting title. First pitch is next. John Lester will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Let's play ball. Three. Stepping up to the plate, Ted Batting Williams. Four. He was one for four in Sunday's Ted affair. Williams. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Popped him up. Murphy waits on it. And that's the third out. One left for Houston. So now the Mariners offense gets to work for the first time. We've got no score. Vita Blue gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. The batter. The Ready for another hitter. chance? Ted, Ted Williams. His last Williams. at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. In there, a base hit. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes desperate times now bad call for desperate Double measures. zero. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Now batting. Stepping up Let now, him. Stan Musial. Stand. He popped out in his first Musial. trip. Williams is off of first with two away. Around it, pick up the ball, pick Base up the ball. Hit, line drive into the corner. Now a long throw to third. Oh, and it's hey, off target, and he'll go. be safe at third. So he picks up another hit. First of the game, but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many so far this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Catcher, Talking to the manager four. before the game, Yadier. he's the one guy when he walks Molina. in the clubhouse door, you know exactly what you're getting from him. The 2-2 pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Waiting on it is Henniger, and that retires the side. Two left for the Astros, but they lead it one to nothing. Now at the play, Ted Williams. He's batting cleanup in this bat, one, but will get us started Definitely here in the hit. inning as they look to Ted. wake up the bats. Really yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. He's set. Here it comes. Fouled off.
now. Lester's 0-1. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Waiting on it is Henniger, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot the now. Ted Williams. But he flew it. out in his last Ted. at bat. Almost, really Matty. Good. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Rip down the first baseline. Fox on at first. Nobody out. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here it comes, 0-2. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. I'll tell you, there was intent behind that pitch. I'm not saying he was trying to hit him, but when you're facing a guy like this, you don't want him to get too comfortable in that batter's box. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Santana will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. A couple of good pitching performances by both clubs here. Three nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. Striding in for Houston. Ted bat, Williams he comes into this Definitely appearance in the midst of a one for Ted. four day. William. First pitch of the at bat. And he fouls this one off. Two men are on with two men out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind it one, too. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Ready with the two and two. Driven nicely into the gap. You're up, you're up, you're up. And the runner will score from second. The relay. The tag, and he is out in third, and with that, the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. The Astros lead it eight to one. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that, going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win. Eight to one is the final tonight. The Astros took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Vita Blue wins his 19th decision of the season, turning in a very strong, complete game effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, eight runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes.
Tonight's paid attendance at T-Mobile Park, 47,715. The Mariners thank you for your patronage and remind you to please buckle up and drive home safely. Well, it's a cold night in Seattle, but at the very least, the roof will be shut to shield us from some of that. Tonight, we wrap up this brief two-game series between the Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners. Stan Musial, one of the league's best hitters, looks to gain ground in the chase for an AL batting title. First pitch is next. Felix Hernandez, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good Let's quality games. Three. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning, Batting and four. in steps the, the iron horse, hitter. Lou Gehrig. Number four. First delivery to him on the way. Yank fouled off to the right. The 0-1. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first oh. is in time, and the inning is over. So a sharp opening inning for King Felix. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. Walter Johnson gets the start for Houston in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, in the day and age where they say wins don't mean a whole lot, that's a bunch of baloney. This guy just picked up his 20th victory of the season in his last start, and he's looking for number 21 on the year in this one today. Listen, 20 wins is a very special season. Number four. Next up for the Strohs, Lou Gehrig. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Grounded foul. Here's the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Astros. Home half of the third coming up, tied at one. Astros designated the batter, Lou Gehrig, been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Here comes the first pitch. 
Sinker runs outside to start the at bat one and oh. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Henniger ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Standing in, Lou Gehrig, 0 for 3 to this point. Now that he had not his game Number so four. far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. This is pulled into right. Henniger is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So three runs on three hits, one error, and two men left stranded. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. It's the Astros six and the Mariners three. Digging in, Lou now Gehrig. Back. He lined Number out four. in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. First delivery to him on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. One out, nobody on. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. One one home. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. The one two. Hard hit towards center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Boy, talk about hitting into some luck luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented the tying run. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. The M's win their 40th game in front of the home crowd this year. Number 35 claims the win out of the pen, his first. Sam Tuivalala records the save, his 48th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners, seven runs, 11 hits, three errors, they left 11 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 45 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at T-Mobile Park, 47,715. The Mariners thank you for your patronage and remind you to please buckle up and drive home safely.